Hi, I'm Tony Corbell. In this video, we'll talk about two light portraiture. The interesting thing about working with two lights is the ability to not just separate the main light from the background, which we were able to do with one light, but now we can separate them and control them, and that's totally different. So I want to work with a lens that's long enough that it kind of compresses my subject to the background. But at the same time, I want to work her away from the background as much as I can. That gives me a much more narrow angle of view on my background, so I'm not seeing the edge of my paper or my light stands. But the primary benefit there is the ability to separate and create some dimension. The difference in exposure was that the primary source of illumination on my, the main light on my subject, that was reading F8. My background light with the grid spot was reading F9. So they were pretty close, and because of the tonality of the background, I wanted them to be pretty close. What that means is any area that was lit is going to look like it's true tonality, but the area where the light's not striking is going to fall off into darkness. Really dark, dark, dark gray. In fact, it falls off to black on the corners. Now on the second setup, we've got basically a main light coming from the top and a fill light coming from below. This is kind of a, kind of a glamour look. Some people call it clamshell lighting. The beauty of this is that it really accentuates cheekbones, and you'll see that as we start to to go into this in a minute, you'll see the contour on our cheeks really kind of pop. So in this case, we're gonna turn on light number one, which is our main light, and I'll take a reading of the top light. It's reading F10 right now. Let me take a quick reading of this guy. I'm basically reading 5.0, 5.6 in this position. So that's about one and two thirds below, and I'm gonna take another exposure reading, sort of a collective reading with both of them on, but I'm not gonna average between the two. I, this is still my main light. So I'm going to slightly tip my meter toward that light source, take a reading from my subject's chin, and now from F10, I'm now at F11. So I was just within a few tenths of a stop. It added just a few tenths, not much at all. So now we're shooting at F11, we're going to have a great ratio. The more lights we add after we go past that one light, it becomes more complex. Everything becomes a little more difficult, and you have to think through how everything might affect each other. 